Hello, hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ingrid here at My Inner Palette. In this video, I'm going to show you a um, ritual that you can do followed by um, guided meditation where we're going to be visualizing different things for this Lion's Gate opening. The idea is that you follow all the steps through so that when you get to the meditation, you have prepared your altar, you have a clear intention on what you want to manifest, and then we move into the manifestation meditation so that you can manifest anything that you want and truly deserve in this 8th of August. If you haven't heard of the Lion's gate or this portal that opens up every single year around the 8th of the 8th the 8th of august in other words when this happens uh, the veil between the spiritual world and the physical world is meant to be thinner so everything that you're manifesting through the stages is much more easier to manifest than in other times of the year but to do this you do need some clear intention on what you want to manifest. And here, this video is going to help you to do exactly that and guide you through all the steps that you need to achieve anything that you want in this lifetime, or at least in this year ahead. Before I run through the suggested materials that you can use today for this abundance and prosperity and manifestation ritual and guided meditation. I wanted to invite you to like my video, subscribe to my channel and share these videos with your family and friends. And I'm also going to be posting all the different suggestions of the materials down in the description box below and also a special gift for yourself. Regarding the items that I suggest you to have, it's a white candle. In my case, I have the special candle that I created that it's white. It has bay leaf, um, some crystals for manifestation, and also a golden golden leaf here. Um, so I'm going to be using this one in my case, but you can use a white candle and that's totally fine. Then I suggest you to have like a little container like this. I also have cinnamon sticks. These are for prosperity and abundance. And the same with the bay leaves. So this is another item that I would recommend you to have. Um, and also golden coins, because nowadays it's very hard to find coins and <laughs> even more difficult to find golden coins. You can do a representation of them with this like chocolate coins. I put them into this little pouch here and I've counted eight golden coins for this purpose. The other thing that I could recommend you to have is different type of crystals. It depends on the ones that you like. In my case, I'm going to be using this ones here that I have that they actually represent all the different chakras. So when we're manifesting something, we're streaming through our spiritual self through all of the chakras until the last one, which is the first one in the physical reality, which is the root chakra. But everything streams to manifest from the seventh to the first. So in this case, I have this little um, crystals that they have like the, the root chakra, the sacral chakra, solar plexus, the heart chakra, throat chakra, the third eye, and seventh chakra here. So what I'm gonna be doing with this ones, I'm gonna show you anyways, um, in a little bit um, of the video, I'm gonna show you how all of this are gonna be uh, put together into my own little sacred space to create this altar and then do the manifestation meditation okay if you don't have this type of stones it doesn't really matter you can just add any other stones that you relate to or the ones that you can research which ones would bring you more abundance so you can go and choose the type of items as well if you have like any type of items that you would like to bring into this practice just go ahead and bring them just try not to hoard a lot of things it's just things that they will bring that abundance to you it could be something that relates to a period in your life that you were very very happy and that you want to bring a little bit more of that happiness 
uh, to the present moment, or it could be like a reminder of something, or it could be something that reminds you of a goal that you want to achieve in the future, whatever it is very personal to you, I invite you to bring it to your uh, ritual. And one last thing to have, it's a notebook and a pen because you want to write your intentions before we start with the guided meditation. Now that we've gone through all the suggested items, what I do recommend you is that you write eight intentions for this practice. Only eight, no more than that. Eight is a lot already. And they could be related to different topics or just one topic that you really want to put your energy there. I would recommend you to put those intentions in no more than three buckets, let's say. So for example, if you want something that it relates to uh, financial stability, you do two or three intentions for that financial stability. If it's something about relationships, then add two more for relationships and then another couple for another bucket. Let's put it that way. So in the next slides that I'm going to be showing you, there are 11 different buckets and a couple of intentions for each one of them that you can take uh, for inspiration and add them to your list or you can create your own, okay? These are just for you to, I don't know what to write, I don't know how to write it, then this is a chance that you can just look at them and see which ones resonate with you more and choose from them to write a letter to yourself with those intentions. So for that, the idea is that you pick a blank page and you start writing those intentions when once you've picked them up when you write them write them in present moment the second thing is that when you're writing them down start connecting to the emotion behind on how you will feel when once you reach that so you're bringing it to the present moment you're feeling the feeling and the emotions of gratitude of happiness of joyfulness of like i have achieved this and at the same time, start visualizing yourself while you're writing it. This is very important because it's really making the whole practice much more deep and intense so that you can actually manifest anything that you want in the list. And the most important thing that you don't get attached to the outcome, just let it, let it go. Once you've done the ritual, it's like, okay, don't obsess over it. Make sure that, yeah, okay, if... It means that you still need to work for that manifestation to happen. Just do it, but don't obsess over the outcome because when you're obsessing over the, the outcome, you are invading like with your energy, like, oh, okay. and instead of attracting things to you, you are pushing them away with your energy, okay? So that's very important that you do all of this and then move on. You can just like read again the list here and there, but don't attach yourself to the result, to the end result, okay? Because you push it away. You don't want to push it away. Now we're gonna go through all of those buckets and the different intentions that you could take as ideas to put in your letter. First of all, we have the career bucket, then the financial abundance bucket, followed by the health and well-being bucket and then the love and relationships bucket the personal growth bucket the spiritual connection bucket the creative projects bucket the inner peace and happiness bucket the home and living environment bucket, the life purpose and mission bucket, and finally, the radical life transformation bucket. Before we jump into the meditation itself, take a few moments to gather all the items that you've collected that you would like to place in your sacred space and create your own altar with them. Welcome to the special Lionsgate opening meditation 
for manifestation. The Lion's Gate portal, which opens every year around August the 8th, is a powerful time for setting intentions and manifesting your desires. During this meditation, we will harness the cosmic energies to align ourselves with our highest potential and bring our dreams into reality. Find a comfortable and quiet place where you won't be disturbed. Sit in front of your altar in a relaxed position. Take a moment to read your intentions one last time. Take a deep breath in every time you silently read each one of them and release your breath after each one with the intention to let go of any energy that might be blocking the manifestation. Imagine that a soft golden light is entering your lungs and your whole body when breathing in and that you are releasing dark colors from your being every time you breathe out. Close your eyes and take a few deep breaths, inhaling through your nose and exhaling through your mouth. Imagine roots growing from the soles of your feet, extending deep into the earth. Feel the grounding energy of the earth providing stability and support. As you breathe in, Draw this grounding energy up through your roots and into your body. Take three deep breaths here, filling your lungs and your belly as you draw more grounding energy into this practice. Visualize a brilliant, soft, golden light above you. These lights represent the Lion's Gate portal opening up over your head, allowing you to connect to the higher spiritual realms to bring to your life all that is for your highest good at this point in life. 
see this light pouring down like a waterfall enveloping your entire being feel its warmth and high vibrational frequency cleansing and purifying your energy field you feel this light traveling and covering you from the crown of your head through your forehead and head it goes down your throat and all around you at that level then it goes down your shoulders your chest and arms you can feel it on your hands like a tingling and warm sensation then it travels down your solar plexus your stomach your lower abdomen at this stage covering almost all your spine and it keeps on traveling down to your buttocks your groin down your thighs and legs reaching your ankles and your feet and then traveling through your feet down the roots you previously created and down to the center of Mother Earth Grounding this highly creative and cosmic energy to your physical reality. Grounding all desires in physical form. Intent to let go of any emotional and mental blockages that are keeping you stuck in this manifestation process sim them down through the roots of your feet down to earth to be transmuted place your hands over your heart Breathe deeply and visualize a vibrant emerald green light glowing in your heart center. As you inhale, feel this light expanding, opening your heart to receive love and abundance. As you exhale, release any fears and doubts that may be blocking your manifestations. Start visualizing with your third eye your deepest desires or goals that you wish to manifest. Count each one of them from 1 to 8 on your list. See the intentions clearly in your mind's eye as if they have already come to fruition. Feel the emotions associated with these manifestations. Joy, gratitude, excitement, contentment. Now you will have some time to repeat the steps for each one of the intentions on your list.
Repeat silently or out loud. I am open to receive these blessings. I trust in the universe timing and wisdom. My intentions are now manifesting with ease and grace. Visualize a powerful beam of light radiating from your heart, sending your intention out into the universe. See this beam of light connecting with the lion's gate energy above and around you, amplifying your intention with cosmic power. Feel the union of your personal energy and the universal energy working together to manifest your desires. Take a few moments to sit in stillness, allowing yourself to receive any insights or messages from the universe. Feel the manifestation energy integrating into every cell of your being. Trust that your intentions are now set in motion and that the universe is conspiring to bring them to you. Bring your awareness back to your breath. Slowly Start to wiggle your fingers and toes, grounding yourself back into the present moment. Take a few more breaths in and out. And when you're ready, Gently open your eyes and take a moment to express gratitude for the Lion's Gate portal energy and for the manifestation process that you have just set in motion. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please remember to give it a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet, and remember to share this with your family and friends. If you think that someone else can benefit from doing such ritual and such guided meditation, please do share them with them, or even create like a group uh, setting that you can all do like a little ritual in common and do this with your friends. I hope that you have a beautiful day, beautiful afternoon or evening, wherever you are in the world, and I'll see you next time.